A student with Carolina on his mind can find strong choices in his home state university system and a rare gem across the state line as well. For a close-up look at what a Raleigh-Durham student and his family might see, I hit the road. Just minutes away, there is America's oldest public university, the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. Over more than two centuries, UNC has built an international academic reputation with tremendous public support and in recent years, an intense private fundraising agenda. Yet UNC tuition remains affordable. At play, UNC is a powerhouse with 36 national team championships to brag about. Leaving the UNC system's flagship campus and driving another half hour down Interstate 40, I found a star in the constellation of historically black colleges, Winston-Salem State University. The campus has a record of attracting ever larger freshman classes, in large part due to the investments in health sciences programs, full scholarships for honor students, and first-rate living quarters for virtually everybody. Back on I-40, it takes several more hours to reach the state's only public liberal arts college, the University of North Carolina at Asheville, but the campus is worth the trip. There, students learn science, math, and literature with an emphasis on research that is nurtured in every department, including art. And it all takes place in a Blue Ridge Mountain town described as one of the happiest places on earth. Venturing across the state line for a look at Virginia Tech, I found one of the nation's six senior military colleges. The university's Corps of Cadets has long fostered a dedication to service among faculty and staff that inspire as well as educate. State schools, it seems, are full of surprises, but it takes a road trip to find them. I'm Carol Fry for U.S. News and World Report.